Welcome to the 2022 Demand Justice Ideas Conference at Path Ahead for Court Reform. We're going to talk about how we build on this momentum. How do we translate all that frustration and disapproval in the Supreme Court into action? How do we get more of our elected leaders on record in support of the Judiciary Act? Talk to me about where you see the Supreme Court today and what, what has changed. The court was an area where many of us went for relief. relief. Yeah. Uh, now the court is, is, seems to be providing pain. Now we're going backward. That's why we got to expand the court. We can pass legislation, we can do a lot of stuff, but if it still has to go before the Supreme Court and we still have an illegitimate Supreme Court, that is a, a terrifying reality for our democracy. We're gonna codify Roe. I believe we can do that. However, it can be challenged, and then we're back at square one. It's just a situation where the more you learn, the worse everything looks. If we don't stop it, we're gonna have a minority takeover of our government. In order to stop that and in order to protect democracy, we need to get the court back. If you really came to this project because of deep concern about the role that the court has played in our democracy, the only thing that we really have in front of us is to change the size of the court. Court expansion also is necessary to preserve democracy. This is about us, our ability to live. No, I just want to say, for the reproductive justice groups, most of them who are in the South, they've pretty much been living this reality for the last 20 years. We the people are ahead of where our elected leaders are right now, and we can't be afraid. We've got to say, no, we, need, we deserve better. Today, here for the first time, Ensign's United Action Fund is announcing our endorsement of the Judiciary Act. We believe that to protect our democracy, we must expand the size of the Supreme Court.